guys and it is the end of the month which means let's do another Birchbox unboxing. I am enjoying doing these videos, I hope that you like them too. So yeah we're just going to hop straight in, this is the March Birchbox so yeah pick it up. Usually I will show you like the packaging and everything but I've actually already taken the lid off this to use in storage in my little makeup box thing here. So I haven't actually got the lid for it anymore but never mind it was a very pretty one this month. And Here's my birch box. Now, we're going to start off by saying this was, what was this one? This month's birch box theme was Habitat, which is some sort of shop, I'm told. What is it? Some sort of shop. I think it's like a homey shop or something. I'm not quite sure. Honestly, I was not too happy. Not happy. Not, this, this month's box didn't sort of wow me. I wasn't so very sort of oh wow I got this and I got this so yeah not really the best my favorite one so far although like I mentioned in my last unboxing video I did get to pick my own benefit sample so I was very excited about that and we will get to that in a minute let's do all my little cards first so this one is 20% off Habitat which like I said is a shop I don't know what shop it is this is another little thing just like last month this is I think a pick your own thing again Laura Mercier, uh, keep your eyes peeled, we may have another makeup pick your sample coming your way. So next month, which is almost this month of April, March, April, yeah, April, I will get hopefully to pick my own little sample again, which is exciting. Then this little thing once again, which sort of just bummed me out a little bit because it's like a how to use the products that you've got. So obviously it shows you all the products that you could have got. And I could have got some really, really good things and I seem to have got the crappier options of them. So that's all that this is. It's just everything that you could have got in your birch box. And a nice little like colour gradient palette thing because it's like a decoration one. I don't know. And lastly, we've got our little thing where it tells you all about this month's birch box and then a list of what products you got on the back. So the first thing that is on the list was your what is my pick your own sample and I got an email saying you can pick your own sample benefit mascara and they had three to choose from. I think they're on here actually. I'll pick up my rubbish piece of paper again even though I just said yeah. They're on here actually so I could have got the benefits they're real, the roller lash or the bad girl, bad gal lash and I actually already have the they're real and the bad girl lash so I obviously went for the roller lash if that's what it's called yes the roller lash which is in fact like a brand new benefits product so I was very excited I'm happy that I chose this one and eh, I find it this is what it looks like it is only a tiny little 0.1 ounce mascara but mascara lasts forever so that is my first thing that I got and for the full size is £17.50 just like all Benefit mascaras and I am very very happy with this one. It's not as good as the other two but it's still good. This is what it looks like, just a very tiny little brush and it does create nice lift in the eyes. It's not as good as the other ones but I'm still glad that I picked this one so I could try lots of different... yeah. Next thing is Catherine Melandrino's Style de Paris. I think this is the fragrance. Yes. This is a little perfume sample, which, yeah, just a, it is like the tiniest little perfume sample. It does have a little spray pump thing, which I was quite happy about because normally samples are like little dibbers, but it smells all right. It sort of, I don't know, I think it's maybe a bit of the more of the mature side perfume it's how it says to me but this is for the full size it's 50 pounds and this is a tiny tiny little does it tell me no not really I like perfume but it's just it's not my sort of scent maybe I'll keep it for like a fancy night out or something but no not really that impressed with that one so we have the let me find it first Philip Kingsley Elasticita. Elasticia? Elasticza. It's a hair product. I can't read. So, this is a pre shampoo treatment that restores suppleness and bounce to damage. 
tresses. Okay, I haven't used this yet. I went to use it yesterday after my bath and realised that you actually wash your hair with this. It's not, I thought it was like a leave-in conditioner sort of hair treatment, but you do actually have to wash this out. You have to, what does it say? Before shampooing, apply to hair, cover with a plastic cap for 20 minutes, rinse well and wash with shampoo and conditioner. So it's like a pre-wash treatment, which I didn't know. I thought it was just going to be like a normal hair treatment. So I haven't tried it, but it will be good. Yeah. It doesn't smell like anything whatsoever. This is £27.50 for the full size. And anything that it tells me it's going to make my hair not look so dry and damaged then yeah we'll try this and see how it goes this is wish three wishes lavender body butter and this is our 22 mil sample size the full size is 14 pound 50 and it is literally just a lavender scented body butter i it smells good but i don't really want to smell like lavender i'm just not that impressed with the the samples that I got this month. Maybe I'll probably just keep it as a hand cream maybe in my bag when my other one runs out but I don't really want my whole body to smell like lavender so there was that. The next thing that I got is the Lord and Berry Couture, Couture can't say that word, Couture, Couture, Cole Casual Eye Pencil. I can't read at all can I? And this is a tiny little eyeliner and this full size is £10 and it is literally just an eyeliner it's not even like it's very tough like the color the color is really good but I can actually like feel the end of it like stabbing into my hand so I'm a bit worried to try this on my eyes or like in my waterline because I think it's going to hurt so not too impressed again with this I'll keep it just as a backup but if I can feel the pencil digging into the back of my hand I'm not sure if I want to start putting that on my eyes I have two more things to show you which is just like bleh. The first one is A Perfect Heritage by Penny something and it is a little book sample which I thought was a really nice touch and it was something unusual to get but this isn't my kind of book so I haven't even picked it up but I thought it was a nice thing you get I think it's a full chapter you get in here so I thought it was a nice thing to put in but yeah, not my sign kind of book is the only thing. I would like to get more like book samples, but maybe not this sort of book. And the last thing is a Birchbox and Habitat exclusive notebook, which well, I like notebooks, but this has got blank paper in. And if you watch my channel, you know that I don't do notebooks with blank paper. And it just seemed a bit random to have a little tiny notebook that's not really that pretty or anything. It's just, yeah. That is the last thing I have to show you, really not too impressed with this month. I will still use probably most of the stuff that I got because I paid for it. It will probably just go in a cupboard as backup. I have like a box full of like backup products that aren't like the most amazing. I have no idea what just happened then. My camera just suddenly stopped recording. So I've had to go back onto automatic. I've been playing with the settings, trying to figure out the best way to get the best quality. And I thought it was doing okay and now my camera's just stopped recording. I think it's something to do with the memory card, I can't record it quick enough or something. I don't know, we've just gone back, back to automatic to finish this video. As I was saying, this month birch box was sort of meh, it wasn't the most amazing products, but I suppose that's the risk that you take with getting like beauty boxes is some months is gonna be just rubbish and some months is gonna be absolutely amazing. And yeah, I'm still gonna carry on with Birchbox because it's still quite like Christmas and birthdays once a month when it comes in the post. But yeah, that is gonna be it for this video. If you haven't seen my other Birchbox unboxing videos, I will try to remember to leave them in the description bar. I say that a lot and usually forget. So I will try to leave them down in the description bar if you want to go and see January and February's unboxing. Make sure that you thumbs up and that you subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.